Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2. Let's go investigate the Wender Snaven. Well, we definitely need Grognar. Definitely need a thief. So, I don't really need a cleric. I don't think we need her right now. We'll take Kelgar. I could take Casavir. I get on better with Casavir. He's just not that different to me. He doesn't offer the same skills that Kelgar does. Kelgar. Although I guess we could level him up a number of times and then he probably would be. Because we haven't used him for a long time. I wouldn't say obsolete, but they're not that important. We could replace him with a cleric if we needed to. It's just tradition, really. Who's that? Honestly, oh, Grobnar. Oh, yeah, I could stick some resistance on my stuff, should, couldn't I? Shouldn't I? I suspect the King of Shadows uses a lot of magic. Might be an interesting story. I'm not going to read all that, I'm afraid. I think we might have sold him some of this stuff before. I mean, that's very good, but Kelgar isn't a monk yet. Hopefully, we'll get him to be a monk through this next challenge. I mean, that's better than just straightforward braces of armor. I still need to save my money up to finish my keep, though. I don't really want to be buying a lot of stuff. And I can make my own very powerful weapons. So I don't really want to spend much money on this stuff. Unless it's truly unique. But a lot of these unique abilities are just not as useful as having spellcasters in the party. I like that it does remember that the things I've sold in between acts and they don't just disappear. I do like that. So, it is an allegory, no? Of the lizard. What, like... Jews in the New World Order. That's probably quite controversial, actually. I should probably delete that out the LP. I don't really think that Jews did 9-11. Or that they're lizards. Allegory, oh yes. You have never been more right, I see. You see? No, no, no. That's not the point. No, 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 no. Uh, yes. No. Sorry, no. Uh, what are you two talking about? Allegory, yes. No, lizards. See, the answer to any question can be answered with an allusion to a lizard. Uh, look, I'm trying to find the Wendersnaven. Yes, explain so that they may understand what we already. No, I'm alone in this. You, for once, know no more than a gnome. But how is your learning to survive unless it is shared? I know. I shall explain that you will all know, no? Yes! No! Yes? Yes. No! Yes! No. I wonder if I meant to charm him. 
Let's learn a charm spell. Huh. Maybe I can't know charm. Let I doubt I give you charm, you did follow I? Behind. Probably have it as a scroll somewhere. Me? Ah, you've got some. Yes. Follow me. Me? Ah, brilliant. You've got charm person. Let's go for some charm persons. Okay. No, that's not what we do. Slinking, yes. No. Sneaking, no. More S words. Slithering, sunning, stunning. Less S. More Ugh, I think. Dog snogs on a log with frogs. No, no. No on a no with no. You know, I think I almost have it. This is fascinating. I say we keep listening. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, yes. Nuh uh. Whatever keg Kelgar drinks, may a Kelgar drink, if Kelgar does in fact think. What? Yes. No. Let's just, uh, I don't think I'm going to improve this situation. Let's just watch. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. No. Look, pardon me, sages of yes and no, but uh, we're on something of a quest for something that may or may not be real. I'm sorry my phone keeps going off. Can you help us? Uh, yes, yep, yes. No, I know, no, you know. Please, I must know. The Wendus, Nathan. Do they exist? Yes. Yes, yes, this is all coming together. Go on, ask them a yes or no question. Through it, we may be able to find out where the Wendersnaven are. Are the Wendersnaven west of here? No. Are they east of here? Yes. Actually, no. Well, kind of yes. Not really, no. So they're southeast? No. So then, northeast. I wonder why they didn't just ask for a map. I don't know. Um, will you give me the map, please? Uh, no. Um, can I buy the map from you? No. Uh, can you show me the map? Yes! Hmm, let me look at this. Hmm, hmm. None. Why, this isn't a paper. This paper isn't a map at all. It looks more like a riddle. Let me just copy it down. There we are. Double check the spelling. Put it in our journal. And we can give the original back to them. All done. I'm so excited. That's it. That's it. I know where the Wendus Snaven are now. I'll mark the location on our map. Hey, that was quick, Grubner. You solved the riddle already. It was a riddle? Oh, I said that, didn't I? No, it wasn't. I mean, I think it was, but for some reason the mishmash of nonsensical words with the simple rhyming scheme just made sense to me. Uh, go on, what was the riddle? Are you asking me for a riddle? Or are you asking me for real? Because if you're asking for real, the answer is, I don't really know, but I'm sure I've got the right answer. Does that make sense? Let's go. Okay, so we should have somewhere new on our map now, hopefully. We'll just have to trust oh, Grobner. Yes. Can't remember what he's armed with. Should probably sort his inventory out, honestly. And I think he might be our next character to get some light armor. So 
So these are more utility spells. Let's go for... What does that do? Verge. All enemies in the area suffer two points of strength and dex damage each round. It lasts for around a level. But if they leave the area, their strength and dex are restored. So how big an area is it? Large. Depends how good the AI is on the enemies, really. It might be useful. And it specifically says enemies, so it doesn't affect us too much. Oh, that's quite nice. 10d6 points of damage. Let's go for that then. That's not bad at all. And you've got Identify, which is worth remembering. Invisibility is actually pretty good. Odd Person is actually pretty good. Invisibility. Yes. Who was that around the corner? Should I know Light of Heavens? One also touched by the blood of the higher planes has come. The shadows grows long here, and it seems chance has thrown its lot in with you. Will you be the sun that sends the shadow into hiding, the tree that stands still and is swallowed, or the dark cloud that hastens the night? Uh, I seek to destroy the King of Shadows, if that's what you mean. Your resolve is strong to the ears, but my eyes see one untested. I would offer myself as a willing conduit through which you may be tested. I challenge you one on one. Raise your guard, and we shall begin. Um, I accept, but I'm not ready right now. Then now is a perfect opportunity to test. If you are worthy, you will prevail, even when stretched to the end of your strength. You may only either accept or not. But in that case, I will accept, even if I have to run off and do some summoning. No. Oh, oh she's got me. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Summon. Right, great. Next summon. Gee, I'm gonna have to run, 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 run. Oh yeah, I forgot I had regen. Come on, hopefully someone, somebody. Let's see if I can take, oh, there was a wall in the way then, if you didn't guess. Right, what I need to do. Ah, she got distracted. I think she might have done. No, she's still there, but I can probably get heal off. Are oh, you twat? Oh, it still works though. Right, come on, let's get a sub. Oh, you're kidding me, my summon's gone. Right, let's blade barrier on me. She is now injured. Mass. Yes. No, oh, we didn't really need mass. Inflict critical runes. Do I need defensive spells? I don't know if some of these might be more defensive. No. So they get a saving throw. Yeah, it will save a round. Oh, 
Huh, I don't know if she counts as an outsider because she's from another plane. Is she? This beautiful ASMR stands tall with the confidence of one who has set their life to a higher purpose. The ghost lines of former battle wounds indicate that she is a seasoned warrior, but they do not detract from her comeliness. Go for a poison save. 26 strength damage. Oh, harm is good, isn't it? Let's go for harm. Yeah, she failed a save, so it should have been. Oh, I think we've probably got this now. Check one of them out. The test is finished. You have beaten me fairly and succeeded this, the first of three tests. I will come to you twice more, and twice more you may be tested. For now you have earned the right to know my name. I am Light of Heavens. Oh, that's well, it for me again. That was a bit brutal. We killed everyone in the party. Oh well. I wonder if there's much else new in this village. How are things? You seem happier. I feel free. Strange, isn't it? I guess you have. I have you to thank for that. And thanks for testifying my trial, Naya. It was my pleasure, Yanni. I know you to be a good and honourable soul. I couldn't believe my ears when you were declared guilty. It had to be a mistake, I thought. Still, it all turned out well in the end, didn't it? I guess so. The only evil man I have, I think, is Amanjero. Well, that's pretty good. I don't have enough evil characters to really make use of it. Let's say Potion of Heal. That's actually a pretty good spell. If I was going to buy some healing potions, that would probably be it. Just do. Chain Lightning, that's a very, very nice ability. But I don't use any of the ones I've already got. Oh, you got a magic bag, I'll have that. Don't particularly need any of those, but might as well take them while they're there. never seen Elgin so quiet. Walked up to me and admitted that his ember story was a lie. Now the city falls off sulking. Oh. Oh, that's good. Obviously I didn't follow up on our uh, trial quests here. Okay, let's just Head on with finding the Wender Snaven. Uh, I should probably oh, yes. check what you're. You don't even have a weapon right now. Follow me. I. Oh yes. So 
So he was an AC 19 and 20. Okay, that's better. That's the same, is it? That also gives better saving throws. Oh, that's much better. It's also light. No near as good as Elven Chainmail. Oh, Elven Chainmail gives me a minus two penalty. Okay. Oh, they both do. So that's not that good then, is it? I'm not really sure what use I'll have for that. I think although it is good, I'll just sell it. Okay, I'm not uh, completely sure why you can wear that, but it looks like you can do. No, you can't. Very strange. You shouldn't need those, you've got armour on. That's quite a nice weapon, actually. Someone else might probably benefit from that more. What have you got? Yes. Oh, now yours is a bit better. Everyone, follow me. Follow me. Everybody, follow me. Yes. Me? Oh, you were. Archer. That's quite a nice bow. I know it's because I was setting up to do the perform challenge for me. That is actually a nice bow. So you would have plus 17 to hit. Or plus 30. Yeah, I'd rather have... I think I'll go without this second attack. Right, that's what you're... Equipment. Yes. That's your equipment now. Like it or lump it. We could set one of these up as a to sell bag. How about that one there? Yeah, that's very nice. Why is no one using that? Yes. Yes. Right, that'll do. Give me my Follow backpack, me. Oh, please. Yes. yes. Right, let's get on. Let's get on with what we're meant to do. Okay. No, we don't want to go to Shadow Reaper camp. It must be this one. Let's stick a save in just in case I'm wrong. Yes. What's going on? Yes. I can't remember what save is. Uh. I know I said that last episode. But I pressed the button I expected it to be and it didn't work. I used to quick save all the time, far too much. I know it's been it. I haven't been playing it that much recently. But I'm very surprised I've forgotten the save button. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. What's going on? Okay, I found it. F twelve. 
Oh, well, it used to be F12. I think one of my mods yes. must have changed that. It needs to be F12. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something strange about this place. <laughs> A cauldron calling the kettle black, I think. The dried skeletal bones of a bard. Shall I cast resur well, let's investigate it and then I'll cast Resurrection. Journal of the Restless Poet. This is the tattered journal of a bard who refers to himself as the Restless Poet. The entire journal seems to be written in per prose as opposed to poetry. The last page is mostly intact. I found at last the field of law, but tis not right I must deplore. The Wender Snaven are not here, and now I doubt they ever were. But wait, a noise I hear nearby. The Winder Snaven comes from high. Could it be those shapes I see? But no, it's orcs. Come to slay me. I've heard of the poet this journal belongs to. He was relentless. The relentless poet, in fact. He disappeared many, many years ago. It seems the orcs stripped the body. There doesn't seem to be anything left. Ow, 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 ow. I stubbed my toe on something. I think I called him the restless poet. Not the relentless poet. That's my reading abilities. Are you okay, Grobnar? I... Ow! Think so. I mean, nothing broken, but, you know, I don't see anything on the ground I could have stepped on. Unless, well, just as I suspected. I couldn't see it because it's invisible. Here, look at this. See? It appears to be an invisible instrument of some sort just lying around where anyone could have stepped on it and damaged it. Shameful. I wonder if it still works. Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> you know that Kalgar's got true sight, don't you, Grobnar? Invisible instrument? No, we... I believe him. I just want to refer to Kelgar for his opinion. But what, what's he doing there, Grobnar? Did you hear those lingering tones? The way the notes seem to float in the air? This instrument is able to take even the simplest breaths and turn them into beautiful music. Why? The invisibility. The music. Why didn't I think of it before? This must be a Wendersnaven instrument. Uh, I think Grobnar's lost it. If they do exist, they're not here now. No, you're right. They certainly don't. Or at least they're not here now. Perhaps the rumors of their shy nature are not an exaggeration. I am somewhat sorry for leading you on this rabbit chase. But, but, well, perhaps this amazing find is actually a gift. The Wendersnaven's way of helping us. Okay, I guess we'll never know. Well, goodbye, Wender Snaven, wherever you are. And thank you so much for the gift. Now I want to cast Resurrection. Go back, go back. Wait, someone cast that on me. That's not right. Probably learn more heal spells, so I'll be good. Oh. 
Okay, why am I not doing anything? I don't know, why can I not do anything? Why can everyone but me attack him? Of course I can do that. Am I frozen, am I? I don't know why I'm stuck. Right, is everything dead? No, he's not dead. Grob and I got a new ability, I think. I don't know. Maybe that was real. Me? Is it in his inventory? Uh, what's that? Wender Kazoo. It's a flute. Charisma plus three. Perform plus nine. Various spells, including true seeing. So, weight reduction reduce all the weight he's carrying. So that's a brilliant little item. And it does one to two damage. Okay. So do I just need to carry it? Oh, weight reduction 80% of weight must just refer to this. Grobnar claims that the Wender Snave and gifted him a fantastic musical instrument. It is difficult to believe him though. Since the instrument is invisible, and when he plays it, it sounds just like he is humming. However, there's no denying that Grobnar's skills as a bard have become especially adept lately. Yes. So is it real or is it just a placebo? Maybe we'll never know. You guys want to do some looting for me, please? Good. And that's now a completed item. Oh, nice, got some more ore. This object cannot be brought back from the dead. Oh well, it was nice they let me try. Now do it on this one. No, oh, that's interesting. Right, I think we've cleared this place out. Anyway, well that was quite interesting, if not particularly useful. Because we're probably not going to be using Grobnar much. Because he isn't that good.
Let's head back to the keep then. Do some of our maintenance jobs. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to sort my inventory this episode. It's not really very exciting. I could announce I'm doing it this episode. And then if you don't want to watch me sort my inventory. Because Grobnar's got identify. Actually, let's go see Kalindra first. Right, I am going to sort my inventory this episode. And I think I've lost my Silver Shard abilities again. That is very annoying. Like I got as much loot as I thought I did. Let me lead the way. Yes. You follow behind. What's going on? Yeah. Oh yes. Yes. I don't have the money to buy the tower yet, so let's not worry. Oh, maybe I've got these fully. Ah, well that's good, I've completed weapons and armour then. Yeah, nowhere near enough to build that tower. Captain, a moment of your time. We caught one of the Grey Cloaks, Sergeant Dobson, accepting bribes from a caravan master. Dobson, 
Explain yourself to the captain. Captain, I I'm sorry it's come down to this. It's true, merchants sometimes pay a little extra to speed along the process. It's almost standard practice among- Not while wearing my cloak, Sergeant. Pardon. Assuming the captain agrees with me. Some of the trade laws are too restrictive. The caravan master wanted us to ease up on some of the older laws. We're supposed to confiscate everything from Om, technically. Because some lord a century dead had a feather up his... Uh, well, you get the idea. The Grey Cloaks don't receive much of a stipend. And, and customs like this make it easier on us and the merchants. And are you sure that's all he's trading in? If you don't search for contraband, it could be anything. In my opinion, this sort of behavior has to be eliminated to ensure order. But the decision is yours. No, oh, he should have his head chopped off. Um, I... He should have come to me. Someone should have come to me about these law arm laws. Because I don't have an issue with arm. I could maybe have sorted it out. You know, even if it was just an exemption for my kingdom and not for Neverwinter as a whole. But you can't just be taking bribes. That is absolute bullshit. That's not how we roll. We Anyone that was found killing a bribe, we executed. We're going to have to stick to our principles. You, you can't be bribing people. You have to search people if they might be bringing in something dangerous. Now, should I leave the matter to Kana? Or should I just say, make an, let's make an example of Sergeant Dobson. I'm not going to tolerate bribes amongst my grey cloaks. Exactly my thoughts, Captain. Dobson, turn in your cloak and your final stipend. The Captain's grey cloaks must obey the laws, and not just the convenient ones. I, Kana. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate we didn't recruit that woman that Torio told the man that Torio told us about. So there's bugbears. Uh, we could strike at the bugbears, or the numbers will grow. Yeah, let's kill them. No, kill the bugbears. Okay, and that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. And I hope you come back where we will visit Clan Iron Fist.